So the article that I chose to look at for this article summary is called School Uniforms, Dress Codes, and Free Expression. What's the balance? Requiring school uniforms may be less legally fraught than implementing a school dress code. So this article was broken down into four different sections. Um, one titled, What About Free Expression? Another, Dress Codes versus Uniforms. And then Analyzing Uniform Policies. And to sum it all up, a section called All Zipped Up. So in opening, the article uh, states how more and more public schools have been adopting school uniform policies. And more specifically, in 2013, 23% of public elementary schools and 15% of public high schools required students to wear uniforms, which was up 3% of all schools in 1996. The article then looks into why there was such a push for school uniforms and a lot of the reasoning dealt with reducing school violence. Um, and that school violence kind of talks about um, gang-related violence or dress that promoted drug or alcohol use. Um, so in the first section, what about free expression? The article talks about how students' dress can, form, can be a form of self-expression. It can especially be a statement of one's own personal um, or political views, especially in high school. Um, and since their dress can send a message, schools have to take into consideration the First Amendment when regulating what students can wear. Um, schools can even restrict a student's speech in certain scenarios. So then the second section moves on into dress codes versus uniforms. And talks on um, how dress codes are generally less restrictive than uniform policies. And some schools get into specifics when banning what a student can wear, while other schools prohibit apparel that is disruptive, promotes violence, um, harassment, or illegal activities. Um, there are many um, legal difficulties when it comes to administering dress codes, which leads to the question of why don't most um, schools just adopt school uniforms? So then in the third sec section, analyzing uniform um, policies, the article talks about time, place, and manner restriction. Um, this restriction limits all speech within a location or during a specific time. So rather than the school having to show that the speech that they are trying to ban is disruptive, lewd, or promoting of illegal activity. The school's uniform policy must only pass the time, place, and manner restriction policies. And to sum up the whole article, it states that there are other difficult aspects in implementing a uniform policy, but the legal hurdles are not as high as you would think. So this article kind of just like says uniform policies are easier to implement than um, school dress code, I mean, with the whole uh, First Amendment type stuff. And there's a lot less legal hurdles to jump over when you're going into uniform policies rather than school dress code. Um, this article will kind of um, help my project goals because it brings up a lot of important issues when it comes to implementing a uniform policy. Um, I would like to use this to talk about uh, the different the differences between school dress code and school uniforms, and what the goal of goals of each of these are, and how it might prove to be one might prove to be better than the other. Um, and since I have not really set a clear thesis yet, um, this article has kind of helped me to look at what my thesis might really be, and help me come up with one for this project.